everyone, it's Anne here again. I'm still on my uh, bookbinding thing at the moment and I've been checking out YouTube quite a bit for all the different ways you can bind pages together and I saw a lady uh, whose name is uh, Chris Tebbit on Tebbit Textiles do it this way and I tried it and it works really well so I'd like to show you uh, what I've done. It's binding uh, single pages together and you you actually stitch them. I'll, I'll make one in a moment but I'll just show you how nicely it works because the pages open really flat. I've put some lace pages in this one but um, yeah, I, I like the fact that it, it lies so flat and also you could, if you're somebody like me who likes to just make maybe just a page, not in a journal but just a, a, on a piece of card uh, and you might make something and then you're not sure what to do with it and you end up with a whole stack of pieces of work that y you would have to glue in a journal or something like that. This is a way of binding them all together so you can just create a, a book of, of, of work without actually setting out to make it into a journal. Anyway, you'll see what I mean as we progress. Um, you need to cut your papers or your pages this, this to the size that you want. Uh, and you're going to need uh, some fabric of some sort. Now it can be ribbon, it could be, um, I think Christine used organza. Um, I'm just using this India cotton, this is the edging. A lot of the cotton saris come with a coloured edge and I tear that off uh, but I'm just using it for this. So you need to take a piece of fabric, it can be any width you like but um, a good width is, is when you fold it in half you end up with about a centimetre on each side of your page so a piece about two centimetres wide is good. And I'm just going to put a crease in that because it's um, India cotton and you can do that and I can see where the middle is. And then I'll just run a little bead of glue. Try not to get it on my tabletop. Um, along that edge just merely to got too much on there. Just to hold it in place while I sew it. So I'm putting that on the crease and then folded it over like that. I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and sew it. So you need to make all your pages the same and sew the, the fabric down each one of your pages. I've got one here that I've did before. And just trim off the overhanging edges. Okay. Now the good thing too about doing it this way is you can work on your pages before they're in the book if you want to. This one I've just applied a pocket. But going back to the actual binding. Uh, you're going to need a needle and thread and it's good if you've got some strong thread for this. I'm just going to tie a knot in the end. And take your first two pages, so we'll take that one and that one. Just line them up and then I'm going to put the needle inside the, the fabric just at the end just to hide the knot. So 
are going to come out of the fabric about uh, two or three centimetres from the edge. And then bind them together with a stitch. Do two stitches actually. And I go back through the fabric and come out again two or three centimeters further along the, the edge of the paper. I do two more stitches. Back in again, This way you can put as, as many or as few pages together as you want. I think I've got about 10 here that I've prepared. But I won't bore you with doing them all on video. I'll just finish this one and then we'll come back later on when I've put the others together and you can see how the, how the book progresses. Okay, now I've got to the end. I'm going to get another, my next page and place that alongside the others. And I'm going to start again working my way along. So I'm stitching the third one to the second one. So the first and the second are stitched together and then the second and the third are stitched together and then the third and the fourth and so on till you've done all of your pages Okay, I'll be back shortly when I've put more of it together. Okay, I'm back. I've got most of my pages together now. And if you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five uh, areas down each page where I've attached one to the next. So I'll just finish these off and then we'll open it up and see how it works. This is the last one, a couple of little stitches. I might give this an extra one just to make sure it's finished off nice and tight. And then I'll put the needle in again and go along the tunnel of fabric bring my needle out further down and then I can leave a nice long tail.
Okay. So I've got my pages bound together here, 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 here and here. So it should be nice and secure. And yes, they open nice and flat. Look at that. That's great. I love it. All right. So I thank you very, very much for watching. And I hope to see you again very soon in the next video. Have fun. Thank you. Bye.